Hey book lovers, Victoria here and you're watching My Books Me. Today I'm bringing you my February book haul and I managed to pick up 10 books during February. Well technically more, I got a whole stack, I think another 10 for uni but I'm not in including them in my book haul. I'm actually going to do a uni haul, uh, what I'm reading this semester video, uh, hopefully next week. I've I am waiting for a couple more books to arrive. Hopefully they will be here next week, but stay tuned for that if you are interested. There is a nice mix of books there, so definitely check that out when that video goes up. But anyway, the 10 books I got during February. Let's go. So the first book I got this month was kindly sent to me from Hatchet Australia, and that is King's Cage by Victoria Aviard, the third book in the Red Queen series. I've already read this book. I already have a review up for this book. This book review has got an insane number of views. It's got over 3,000 views. Um, which I cannot believe so if you haven't seen that video already go check it out I don't really want to talk too much about this because it is the third book in a series, but we are following um, Mare who is a red blood living in a world ruled by this by silver bloods who have these we well not really they have these supernatural powers um, but there are some reds who have silver abilities and Mare is one of them and there is a whole lot of crap that goes along with that and it's a really good series. I highly recommend it. If you want to know more about this book in particular, then check out my King's Cage review. I also have a Red Queen review up from back when it came out um, and check that out if you want as well. I might link that one in the description below. Definitely the King's Cage will be linked in the description below. The next book I picked up is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, the first book in the Mortal Instruments series. I actually hauled this book a long time ago, I think back when I started Booktube, um, but since then I unhauled it because I wasn't planning on reading it anytime soon and I desperately needed the space on my bookshelf. Also I really wanted to get this edition of the books. Um, I just really like these editions. They just are really pretty and so recently I saw this on Book Depository for like $8 and I thought you know what I'm kind of feeling it this year that maybe I'll get into this series. I really want to just see if I like the books um, and then because I definitely want to watch the Shadowhunter series but I want to at least have read the first book before I do that. Um, so yeah, hopefully I will get to this one soon. I'm sure you guys all know what this book is about. And honestly, I don't really know what this, these books are really about, but I've heard really great things about this series. So I finally want to just jump on the bandwagon and start reading them. Another book series that I have not read and has recently become a TV series or really a Netflix series. And that is a series of unfortunate events by Lemony Snicket. I got book one, The Bad Beginning. I never read these as a child. Um, I feel like in the area that I live, these books weren't really a a big thing when I was growing up um, so I never got around to reading them but obviously the Netflix series came out this month and it looks really good and a lot of people have said a lot of really great things about the series so I want to see if I like the book um, at least try the first book and then watch the series I feel like maybe um, this is a series this is a book maybe that I won't like as much as other people um, I know a lot of people have recently reread the books um, for the first time since they were kids and they really enjoyed it and it's been like a real nostalgic thing for them um, but I have seen a couple of people who have read the books for the first time at my age and sort of haven't enjoyed them so much so I don't know if I will like the books I'm certainly excited to read them at least this first one and I'm also excited to watch the Netflix series because I've heard amazing things about that the next book I got this month was another Abby Glines book um, I've sort of been collecting her books but I haven't read any of them this month for some reason. Hopefully I'll get to them soon. Um, but I got While It Lasts, which I think is the third book in the Seabreeze series, which is her YA version of the Rosemary Beach series. And you all know how much I love the Rosemary Beach series. So I've been collecting um, the first couple of books in the series just so that I can keep ahead because I read the Rosie Beach series really quickly. I got through the books like in a day or two and then obviously I had to wait until I got to the next book. Um, so I learnt my lesson now and I'm stocking up on her books so that when I do finally get to read them I know that I'll just be able to fly through them all hopefully. Um, hopefully I will start the Seabury series soon. I don't even know what this book is about. Although it's following Cage York and Eva. Um, I don't know, it's a contemporary romance and I'm liking them so hopefully I get to the Seabreeze series soon. The next book I got this month is a finished copy of Freaks by Amanda Hocking. Um, last month I was sent a review copy from Pam McMillan so this month I picked up a finished copy because I love this cover. I think I like this cover more than I like the US cover. Um, especially because this just goes with the rest of Abby's books that I own. Um, I've also already read this book and it will be featured in um, my next wrap up video whenever that goes up, hopefully at the end of this week, I'm not quite sure. Um, but in short, this is set in 1982 in the small town of Cordry in Louisiana and we follow Mara who um, whose mother is part of a travelling carnival 
and so Mara has spent like most of her life growing up in the carnival and surrounded by the people in this carnival and this carnival is really special because it is made up mostly of people who have these supernatural abilities and it's an area it's a it's a place where they can feel safe and not be condemned by the rest of the world um, and so they arrive in this town called Dree, called Dree, um, and they have to stay 10 days to uh, open the carnival because they're going to get paid quite a lot of money, um, which will help them move on to Houston, I think that's where they're going. Um, and Cordry has these very weird vibes, um, and on about the second night, uh, one of the members of the carnival is uh, attacked by this weird creature of darkness, and they sort of have to deal with uh, not only this creature attacking them but some of like the community that don't really like that the carnival's there and our main character Mara uh, meets a townie called Gabe and they hit it off and they start sort of going out and he has his own family secrets and eventually he uh, he and Mara sort of join forces to try and save the carnival from this creature and force of darkness that is attacking them. It's actually really good. I definitely recommend checking it out. Check out my wrap up video when that goes up or just read my review which is on my blog. I'll link to that below. The next book I got this month is another book that I've already read. Um, this was actually the book I got in my Outcrate box. I'll link that in the description below if you haven't seen my unboxing of that. But that is Caravel by Stephanie Garber. Um, as I said, I've already read it. I will link to my review of that because I do have a video review up. I am so obsessed with the cover of this book. Seriously, everything about this book is so beautiful and magical. Definitely go check it out for those who don't know. Um, it is about these two sisters who attend this um, performance event called Caravel and it's where it's a performance where the audience can get involved you can just sit back and sort of watch everything unfold and just enjoy the experience but you can also be part of this performance and it's sort of like a scavenger hunt kind of thing um, and this year Scarlett's younger sister Teller is the thing that they must find but Scarlett sort of gets too wrapped up in the game and fears for her sister's life and despite being, as I said, being told over and over again that it is just a game, it is just an illusion, it is just a, a performance, um, she is sort of racing against the t uh, racing against the clock to find uh, Teller before the kind of, before Caravel is over and there is some romance and some magic and some secrets in this and it is so good. I highly recommend it. Finally, the last four books I got this month are books that not a lot of people are going to agree with but I don't care. Um, I have already read them these are other books that will also be featuring in my next wrap up video and that is the Fifty Shades series by E.L. James. So we have Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades Darker, Fifty Shades Freed and Grey which is Fifty Shades of Grey from Christian's perspective. Um, I just want to point out that I never intended on reading these books ever, not because of necessarily the content in them and uh, the controversy and issues surrounding them, just because they didn't really, uh, weren't something that really appealed to me and especially because they did start off being Twilight fan fiction. Not that I have really anything against Twilight, but I don't really want to get into Twilight, and therefore I didn't really want to get into these books. But obviously, Fifty Shades Darker, the movie came out this month, and so the trailer has been playing incessantly for the past couple of months. And I went to see the movie Jackie this month, and the trailer played before that. And I thought, you know what, this trailer is actually quite interesting, and I just uh, downloaded the ebooks of them and dove right in, and I was quite surprised that I liked them so. Then I bought the physical copies, so I know a lot of people have issues. I'm not really going to talk to. I'm blah, blah. I know a lot of people have issues with these books, um, and I will talk about them a little bit more in my wrap up, but not so much because I know it is sort of uh, an issue for people. But yeah, so I got those four books, and I have already read them. I've actually read them twice. So yeah. So anyway, that is all the books that I got during the month of February. As I said, I did get more. I did get like I think ten books for uni, and hopefully that video will be next week. I'm just waiting for three more books to arrive, um, so that should be fun. Um, let me know in the comments below some of the books you got this month and if you've read any of these books what are your thoughts on them I'd really love to know um, and yeah I think that's it thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon with another video bye